Hi, this is Barry Eisen, and over the next few minutes, I want to share with you something that can be a game changer, and I mean in a literal sense. It's about taking a few deep breaths and improving performance in whatever it is that you do. The premise is, and it's a simple one to acknowledge, that every once in a while we have peak experiences. We go gangbusters, things just go in our favor, and we're the best version of us that we can be. Every once in a while, we'd rather phone it in. We absolutely go to the pits of performance and we can't understand why. There's just so many variable performances involved in creating peak performance. But here's something that you can do as a little pre-action ritual, if you will. Athletes use these kinds of things all the time. People at their top levels of performance do it because they get it from coaches like me and others. And this information has been around in the field of neuroscience for a while. So to get right into it, what I'd like you to do is take a deep breath in your mouth and let it out through your mouth. Now this time, I'd like you to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. The second way is way more healthy. Do you know why? Well, it's a rhetorical question because you can't answer. But let me give you a few reasons. One is, when you breathe in through the nose, you're actually filtering out the particulates that are hanging in the air, the solid partic particles. It's like in your house, you've got a, a heater that takes care of your AC filtration system as well as your, your heating. So you're not just breathing air from the outside. Well, the same thing, our bodies are designed to use the nose and our hairs to filter out the pollutants, some of the pollutants that are in the air. Well, that's not the most important thing that I'm getting to. Another reason breathing in through the nose is healthier is that as you bring in air through the nose, it passes up past the sinus passageways. The sinus passageways will dump at least 50% more oxygen into the air that you're bringing eventually into your lungs. When you have more oxygen to use, gets into the bloodstream, that's the purpose of good circulation. But that's not even the most important thing. When you breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, you're learning what elite athletes are learning. You take air in, so you have more oxygen in, as I mentioned before, but it's a slower exhale, which means you get to use more oxygen in that breath. So it's a more efficient way of breathing. But that's not the most important thing that I'm going to get to. This is. When you bring air higher into the facial mask, through the nose, not just through the mouth, it creates a vibration. The vibration is simply the friction of the air's motion. The air will create a little stimulation in the skull, because that's what it's touching up there. On the other side of the skull, inside the skull, is your brain. It's the reason that you have a skull in the first place. The portion that touches the brain, right where the air goes and creates the vibration, is your neocortex. Your neocortex is the portion of your brain responsible for critical thinking. It's the right and the wrong and the good and the bad. It's the, it's the evolution of thought in the moment. It is tied to your hippocampus, which is your short-term memory. So as you stimulate the brain cells, the neuron cells in that portion of your brain, they do a better job of communicating one with the other. That's the reason sometimes that you have peak performance. And when you're detached from an action, it's the stimulation or lack thereof of the stimulation in that portion of your brain. So as a ritual that I referred to earlier, before you're going to take a test, before you're looking to read faster and absorb more information, whether for, whether for study purposes or otherwise, whether you're in a conversation with somebody and you really need to be present, Maybe it's a business presentation where there's a give and a take and you're processing information, hopefully rapidly and doing it well. Before you engage in any kind of activity, athletic, sexual, anything you deem to be important in the course of your day, get into the habit of breathing in deeply, in and out through your nose, three or four times, 
And then because of the relaxation that you're creating at the very same time that you're breathing in and focusing on the breath, because that takes all the extracurricular activity in your brain and focuses it there, you become a better listener to what you're going to present to yourself. So I'd suggest after three or four of those deep, slow, methodical breaths, tell yourself silently how you're going to do in the upcoming activity. Whether it's reading faster with greater comprehension, say those words to yourself silently. Whether it's giving a dynamite presentation, asking questions, listening well, presenting in a positive and authoritative way. It doesn't matter if it's setting yourself up to play an extraordinary focused 18 holes of golf, racquetball, baseball. It's what sports celebrities that you see on the screen do all the time. They set themselves up to win. This is a process that I've just shared with you. If you use it, practice it three, four, five times a day, 20 times a day, the cost is literally 10 seconds or less. But in the balance, peak performance, why not try it out for a good two or three week period of time and see over that period of time whether things are extraordinarily better, whether they remain the same. If they have no particular impact, throw it away. It was an idea. But if you don't try, you'll never know. So commit yourself to two or three weeks using this little simple idea, taking three or four deep breaths in, and then silently telling yourself about the excellence that you're going to bring to the next activity. And I'll bet you dollars to donuts that you will do most of those activities at a higher level of performance than otherwise. For other thoughts like these and about self-hypnosis and about positive thinking, go to my website, barryeisen.com. Range through it. You'll see different topics that are, that are uh, emphasized in different ways because information can only help. So hopefully this has been a worthwhile time with me. Please try this on for size and leave me messages as to your successes. And if you have stumbling blocks, also present those in the way of text on the bottom of this, uh, this visual. And I'll get back to you with maybe some suggestions uh, because people are different. But I think you'll have a good time with this one. So go at it. Give it your best. Thanks for listening.